Hey guys, how's it going? Um, my name is Shay. I'm your Wednesday kid. Um, happy Wednesday. <clears throat> in case you notice the lovely product placement in the back, that's a, I've talked before a little bit about being an artist, and that's a sample of some of the stuff I like to work in. I prefer sculpture, like metal, bronze stuff, but when I draw, it's animals. Uh, oh yeah, and I'm doing it as a thank you present for the vet's office for helping our, one of our dogs get through Parvo, so I'm trying really hard to finish it, but I'm just kind of running out of time because it's almost finals week and stuff. Um, and my mom will be here in two days, so it's kind of like operation clean around the house, and oh, yay, yay, fun stuff. Um, okay, this week we're talking about how, as partners, how we comfort um, our loved ones, our trans loved ones, when you know, when they've had a rough day of misgendering, or, you know, and somebody mentioned the other day that their partner doesn't really get misgendered, and I think it's because they might not even consider it misgendering yet, because I know they're, like, right at the beginning of the journey, but, you know, a simple, oh, excuse me, ma'am, instead of, excuse me, sir, stuff like that, you know, it, it can wear on you, it gets a little tiring. <laughs> um, so, with me and Gav, and Gavin's been on tea for two years, um, and so he, you know, he can grow some decent scruff on his face, and his voice is gorgeously deep, and so I think for the most part, oh, and he has an Adam's apples, so for the most part I think his physical changes are gonna, I think they're pretty set, you know, they're in place, um, except for probably continuation of facial hair growth as, you know, as time goes on and whatnot. But I think for the most part, he looks how he's going to look. Um, and now, when he's out by himself, he passes almost 100% of the time. Especially at work, because uh, he's a nurse. And cute little old ladies always think he's a doctor, because, you know, men can't be nurses, so it's cute. Um, now, when we're up together, you might have noticed my sweet, sweet mohawk and... I am wearing a shirt and shorts that reach my knees because I live in Texas and it was 70-something degrees outside today. But anyways, I look like a dyke. So when we're out together, Gavin gets misgendered a lot. Um, and I feel really bad because I blame myself because I feel like it's my fault. Um, so then I definitely feel like, you know, I need to help fix it. Um, and I think for the most, like I talked before about how uh, I call myself a pronoun watchdog. Um, you know, when we're out in conversation with people and they misgender him, I'll just throw it back in there like, hey, he says blah, 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 and then either they catch it or they don't catch it, but Gavin notices, and, you know, it's kind of the little pick-me-up that he needs, which is awesome. Um, and I, I think, consistently, though, the worst gendering that happens is when we spend time with his family. Because um, his little sister's on board, and she'll, you know, she'll call him Gavin and male pronouns and stuff. And when we're out socially, his mom, most of the time, will go along with it too. But at home, his stepdad's not okay with the idea. And absolutely refuses to cooperate, even vaguely. Like, he calls me by my birth name, by my full birth name, which hasn't been done since I was in kindergarten. So, poor Gavin. <laughs> um, and uh, so when we're there... You know, they call him birth name and female pronouns, and Gavin doesn't... Gavin is allowing them to deal with his transition within all the time that they need. So, you know, if it takes a couple years, it takes a couple years. He's fine with that. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to use his birth name or female pronouns, even with his family. So I go... I like to call him uh, verbal acrobatics, you know? Like, oh, so your kid and I, you know, we went to the blah, 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 and we did this, and we did that, and your child and I this, and your child and I that, and, oh, you know, me and G, and blah, 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 you know, just, it gets silly. <laughs> it gets stupid. Like, all the ways I try to get around saying um, female pronouns or birth names, just, it gets, it's ridiculous. Um, and I was thinking about that earlier because we're going to spend, thing, or we're going to spend Christmas with his grandparents as a surprise. We're just going to show up. Um, and I've never met them before, but they definitely, definitely do not call him Gavin or, uh, male pronouns, so, and we're gonna be staying there for at least 24 hours, so that's gonna get interesting. Um, yeah, who knows? 
it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be a challenge. Um, but, yeah, I think, like, all right, when we leave his parents' house, and, you know, we get in that car and we're like, sigh relief, um, I, I catch myself a lot, like, on the car ride home, I'll say his name over and over and over and over and over, and I'll talk about he and him and he and him too, he and him, um, just, you know, repeating male things over and over and over, and I've wondered before whether I was doing it for him or for me, you know, because it's distressing to me too when he's misgendered repeatedly, um, and it's, you know, it's not even my person, but I, I know that it upsets him, and it therefore upsets me, because when my baby's sad, I'm sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've wondered before, who's, you know, am I comforting him or am I comforting me with the repeated pronouns and male stuff, um, and I don't know. And then, uh, anybody have thoughts on that? That'd be cool. Um, I don't know, when I asked him earlier, like, if I did specific things to help, you know, he just said I was supportive and had no specifics, which is really helpful. Um, but... Alright, I, I watched a video recently of this really, really precious little British dude, and he was talking about how you should never call your trans guy beautiful or pretty. Um, and, it, I don't know, grain of salt, you know, it's kind of specific to your individual trans guy, because my trans guy likes being pretty, and my trans guy wears makeup occasionally, and has absolutely no problem, you know, with being told that he's beautiful or that he's pretty. And, you know, I do say handsome and whatnot too, but, I don't know, the idea is the compliment, not necessarily a gendered compliment, I guess. I don't know. Um, Beth's video the other day was awesome when she was talking about how she lets her man carry all the heavy stuff for her. Um, and, you know, I do that too sometimes. Not a whole lot, because I am also kind of independent, and if I can carry it myself, I'm not going to wait around for somebody else to do it for me. But I do that, too. Um, I'll save silly little man jobs for him. Um, like, changing the light bulbs on my car. Uh, he likes to do that. He's good at that. Um, and changing my flat tires. I will always let him do that, too. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know that's necessarily affirming his masculinity, but kind of letting him do stuff for me makes him feel good. And that's something I struggle with because, like I said, I'm independent, and if I can do it now, I don't feel like waiting three hours to let him do it later. But occasionally I do remember. And I think I'm going to try and work on that a little bit more. I'm so super rambling. Sorry about that. Um... Sorry, the cat was helping. Um, Alright, you guys have a good week. Uh, I'll talk to you next week. Um, oh, my mom gets here in two days. Uh, yeah. Alright, to be fair, she's one of the nicest people in the whole entire world, but she's not supportive of first and foremost, well, initially me being gay, not so much. And then me being with a trans partner, she assumes that there's something wrong with him, and therefore that he's corrupting me. Uh, so it's not always fun to be around her. Thankfully, she's re she's respectful to Gavin, and she'll say Gavin. Um, but I, I think it's probably because she doesn't know that that's not his birth name. <laughs> um, but this will be her second time around us, and this visit she's willing to stay at the house, which is progress from last year. Um, so you never know, maybe it could be really good, and maybe I'm just freaking out and psyching myself out about nothing. Um, but if anybody has experience with extremely, extremely religious fanatic people, um, I'm definitely open to suggestions and ideas on how to gently deal with her for four and a half days. Yay! Alright, you guys have a good week. Um, pray for me. <laughs> Bye.